how to navigate the JRC PTB ePortfolio. Your homepage will display your current post details and key information for you to read. From the Profile tab, you can select to see your personal page. You can update your personal information, upload a photo of yourself. You can change login details or reset your password. Next, you can view current and previous post and program history at which supervisors are assigned. Your training program will be added by the JRC PTB when you enrol. You will then be able to add your own post rotations. You can add your certificate and exams relevant to your training you have undertaken. There are standard options you can select from a drop down list. In the College Exams slash Certificates tab, exams for MRCP and PACES will be automatically uploaded. In your personal library, there are set folders for you to upload relevant documents as evidence towards your training. You can create a new folder, move files between folders and download your entire library. You can download your entire ePortfolio. Just select the items you want to download from each post and move it across and download as a PDF. Courses and Seminars page is where you will see relevant events in your region. You will have access to the curriculum. The curriculum is split into Generic and Clinical Capabilities in Practice SIPs. Click on each folder to expand to view the Generic and Clinical SIPs. Click on the Rate button to add your own rating and comment to show how well you are achieving the capability. Also link evidence to support your rating by clicking on the links button. You can link any evidence to the curriculum by selecting the file. You will see the linked evidence under the curricular item. You can access the generic SLE forms, ACAT, CPD and Mini CEX forms. You can complete the generic DOPS assessment form. There are formative and summative versions of DOPS. Please refer to the ARCP decision aid for guidance. The multi-source feedback form must be sent via the external ticketing process to assessors. The patient survey summary form must be completed by the educational supervisor. You can complete the audit, quality improvement projects and teaching assessments form. You will be able to send an external ticket request to assessors to complete assessment forms. All tickets expire after 30 days if not completed. Click on Request New Assessment Form. Select the post rotation and which forms you want the assessor to complete. Complete the details of the assessor correctly. An email with a 10-digit unique code will be emailed to the assessor for them to use to complete the assessment forms. In the Ticket Request tab, you will see a list of all tickets you have sent to all assessors. 
You can see the status if the assessment has been completed or not. You can complete a number of reflective forms. There are a number of appraisal forms to complete during your training. The end of attachment appraisal form can only be completed by an educational or clinical supervisor. You can log your personal development plan and keep progress on whether it has been met. The summary overview displays a summary of all forms that have been completed. You will be able to glance at the number of forms that you have completed. Grayed out buttons indicate forms that must be completed by a supervisor. The Supervisor's Report tab you can view the Educational Supervisor Report ESR, and the Multiple Consultant Report MCR. You will only be able to view the MCR summary and not the individual responses. The MCR summary will summarise the results and comments randomly. You can get additional support and guidance through the Help tab. Follow our social media for updates on your training.